Hello everyone. Today is a Thursday and it is a lockdown continuation three of lockdown three. <laughs> AKA our lockdown just got extended by an additional two weeks. And although we look happy in this video, we are very unhappy about it. Yep. So basically nothing changes other than we get a couple of more weeks of uh, mandatory stay at home. AKA we can do nothing. We can't go camping. Our camping for May is canceled. We well, can't... not yet, but it's going to be. You can't go onto Crown Land. You can't really do anything except for go biking. Yeah, so here, take a look at this clip that we took but never posted for Lockdown 2. And it's actually just watch this one because it's basically the same thing and we're just going to say it again. Uh, anyways, today we're uh, going to Paris. N not that Paris, Paris, Ontario. Um, there is a really amazing trail that we've heard of called the Paris or Cambridge, Cambridge to the Paris. Paris Trail. Yep. So we're at the head of it and it's about a 17 or so kilometer bike ride. Ooh, lots of bugs here uh, on this trail. So we're gonna go check it out since we can't leave the region and this is like one of the uh, only bike trails on, in the region. Of course it's raining. Would it honestly be us going for a bike ride if it didn't freaking rain? Oh well, let's do this. Yeah, so this trail actually goes all the way to Hamilton and you can actually get to Niagara Falls from here. But we're just gonna do this green bit over here from Cambridge all the way to Paris. The Cambridge to Paris Rail Trail is an 18 kilometer trail that follows the Grand River. It's perfect if you're looking for something scenic and easy. It's open for hiking and biking year round and cross country skiing and snowshoeing in the winter. The Cambridge to Paris Rail Trail was originally an electric train line back in 1915 when it was built. It was then converted to diesel locomotives in the 1960s and it was redeveloped as a rail trail in 1994. It was actually one of the first rail trails in all of Ontario, and it's a really popular one to bike or walk on now. This is the end of the trail. It doesn't take you right into Paris. You sure? I think there was a sign back there that said Paris like 600 meters that way. Well, that one says Paris Brent for that way and Cambridge that way. Yeah, so somewhere. this is, we're in, we are in this parking lot. Can you point? Which parking lot? 58.2 kilometers. The, this one? Yes. Okay. And I know that because this is the Jean Rich Foundation trailhead and parking area, yeah? Oh, possibly, yeah. Tiny bit lost on the map, but we're still on the trail anyways, so not super lost. Not quite sure where we are though. <laughs> um, yeah. What do we do? 18.69 kilometers so far. Not bad. Still have to go all the way back, or I don't know, Andy kind of wants to go to Paris. What's the plan? I don't know. 
I just kind of know. I just kind of want to know where we are. That's the thing. Oh, according to this one over here, we might be right here already. I don't know. It's hard to say. Maybe on the other side of this thing, it tells us what. Uh, oh, here it. Yeah, it is. There it is. Tio's right. We're in the. We're at the end of the trail. We're right here. The Gene Rich Foundation Trailhead and Parking Area. That is the end of the Cambridge to Paris Rail Trail. So if we keep going, if we keep going, um, this is going to connect to the SC Johnson Trail, which which takes you from Paris to Brantford. And then if you keep going past that, there is the Gordon Glaves Memorial Pathway. And then after that is the Hamilton to Brantford. Hamilton, no, Brantford. Well, I'll take you. Ha Brantford to Hamilton. We went the other direction. Because this assumes you're starting in Hamilton and going this way, but we actually started that way and came this way. Bye. So in case we haven't confused you enough already, we just biked 18.69 kilometers and we're probably gonna turn around, turn around and go back or maybe go a little bit further. I don't know yet. Okay, Tia, so how's the bike ride? How's the trail? Give us the breakdown. Okay, so the trail that we just did, the Cambridge to Paris Trail, used to actually be a rail trail, like a railway. Um, so it's actually really nice. It goes on one side of it, you're along the Grand River, and on the other side of it is like just foresty, hill, nature area. Uh, the trail itself is gravel, um, but Andy's on road tires i'm assuming they're not very happy with him but he still made it all the way here so it's really not bad and if you're looking for like something scenic and like really relaxing the trail is completely flat so it's a nice kind of like leisurely bike ride however um if you're here in the spring and i'm assuming into the summer fall there expect bugs tons of bugs i was biking along and i didn't realize that i had two mosquitoes sitting in my arm getting a ride so uh, yeah that kind of sucked but overall it was very pleasant time to head back Headed back, not using the mic, and it's all Tia's fault, right? Tia, it's all your fault. What'd you say? Yeah. See, it's all her fault. So, I told her that we should install the mic app on her, an old phone. Oh my god, Ugh. yeah, like she said, I'm on a road bike or. <laughs> oh, I messed up the camera. Yeah. Whoops. Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Huh? Uh, I hit a stick. Honey! Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Oh my god, your arm is all scratched up. Oh. Oh. Did you break the camera? Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. But like I said, at least we get to use our... Uh, warranty that we warranty paid for? Warranty that we paid for, yes. Well... That might be the end of the camera using for now. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. <laughs> I don't have anything to say.
are you filming with your phone? So somebody broke our camera. So you'll actually see lookouts like this um, in quite a few spots along the Grand River. Um, this obviously used to be a bridge that would go from one side to the other. Uh, they're definitely no longer in use. I don't even know how old they are. They're really, really old, but it does make for nice little lookout points. Actually a railway, as the sign says. It used to be a railway. Oh, a railway. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, but the Grand River is pretty gross. Okay, I don't know how we missed this on the way down. We were probably really focused on uh, the trail, but I did not realize there is like some ruins in here. Now it says this is private property, no trespassing, um, but that's pretty cool. And we're back to CGT station. And uh, we went all the way down and came back up. That is the Cambridge to Paris Trail. It's pretty great, to be honest. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Definitely would recommend. Um, so, because now we realize that it's pretty flat, maybe we'll try biking all the way to Hamilton. But in true T and Andy fashion, we did not eat enough food before doing this, so it's time to eat! <laughs> <laughs> 